been a while since I've done anything VR related. So I've got to pull my sleeves up. I've got to strap in and I've got to hope that everything is recording properly because I don't know anymore. So welcome everybody to the Titanic VR experience. I just found out about this and it looks awesome. I get to see exactly what it was like to be on the Titanic when it was crashing and I get to explore it at the bottom of the ocean. Doesn't that sound terrifying? I can't wait to have existential dread. On the 10th of April 1912, Titanic set sail from Southampton, UK on her maiden voyage to New York. She was carrying 2,200 people. On the 14th of April 1912, Titanic struck an iceberg. It took two hours and 40 minutes for the ship to sink beneath the waters, killing 1,400 people. This photograph was taken as she left Queenstown, Ireland, her last stop before New York. Yeah, Titanic was built in Ireland, by the way. The shipwreck lay undisturbed at the bottom of the ocean until its discovery in 1985. From 1912 to 1985, it wasn't found. Oh my God. Titanic VR. I think Jim Cameron uh, directed this. It's also a seated experience. Oh, bye. Oh God, I'm not at the bottom of the ocean, am I? Oh no, I am! Is it a submarine? Oh! Oh, I hate that! Are you coming closer? Oh! Loud and clear, Dr. Lynch. Yeah. You should be nearly at the sea floor. Telemetry looks good. Oh, so no. oh, oh! Sounds about right. Oh no! Good. Excited? Yeah, I've seen all the footage, but I mean, it's different to be so close to her. I am not excited at Never all. Done like this before. Yeah, Bismarck as a grad student and uh, Lusitania on vacation a couple of years back. Hell of a resume. <laughs> Don't go dark! Don't leave me here! Oh! I've reached the seabed. Can't oh, see cool. Much. Okay. You're still a couple of hundred meters out and back to manual control. Oh, I get to go actually look at the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Cool! This is horrifying! Being in a tiny little submarine like this? Oh my god, you could create the best horror game with something like this. Imagine like Soma or Subnautica like this. Um, okay, so I gotta go towards that thing. Um, so we gotta ascend. Am I ascending? Yes, I am. Imagine this, but a giant sea monster comes up in front of you. Oh, please let that be a, an experience that exists. This is way more involved than I thought it would be. I thought I would just be like sitting down and watching stuff happen in front of me. Oh, right, we're getting close. I get my lights ready now that I'm getting close to the bow. The far left lever controls your sub's lights. To turn the spotlights on and off, okay, there we interact go. with the button in front of the lever. I just did it. Is that the Titanic right there? The triangle? Is that the front of it? I used to be obsessed with the Titanic when I was a kid. I had a ton of books on it. People always, uh... Oh, oh, there it is. Never mind. There's something you don't see every day. Whoa! Oh my God, that's so cool! Okay, first things first. We've got a contract with the Titanic... Close to my mic. Place their commemorative Hello. plaque on the forecastle deck. Get yourself into position. All right. Okay, get myself into position. Got it. Oh my God! Dude, childhood me would have freaked out at this. Let's face it, adult me is freaking out at this. Coming up to it now. Oh, Jesus. You'll need the predator for this task. Oh, that's this. Oh, the ROV. Yep, courtesy of flight avionics and the latest in oh. movement, the oh. controls to oh. the predator are the same as the submersible. Make your way over to the already laying on the deck. And remember that the range is only up to 15 meters. The advantage of driving without an umbilical. Is there any way to boost the signal? Yes, Dude! You need to upgrade the deep sea transmitter and they don't come cheap. The I got little arms. Our sponsors and UNS funding only goes so far. <laughs> if we complete these contract jobs, we might just be able to afford some upgrades. What happens if I go out of range? Oh. Ooh. The automatic recall kicks in. ROV comes straight that? back to the sub. I'm here. Is that a oh! It's a fish! Approaching max range. Am I? Oh my god, that's a jellyfish right there. See that jellyfish right there? 
That's terrifying! Oh, there it is. This is so scary! I thought I was just in for fun about the Titanic! Oh, there's a ton of plaques here. I'll take a photograph with the onboard camera for the society. Whoa! Oh, great idea. They'll appreciate that. There's you so can many! the camera through the ROV inventory. Open up the menu again and select the camera icon from the inventory screen. I am programmed to love. Where to now? Oh. Hull breach on E-deck. Come back! On your map. We're heading for his cabin, right? That's right. I witnessed <laughs> the when he said Henderson kept his so cute. It should tell us more about his activities on the final night. I presume I'm looking for some kind of trunk. Look at that jellyfish! Had a briefcase listed on the manifest. With any luck, it's still in his room. Oh man, this is trippy! So cool! Can't believe I never heard of this before! Dr. Lynch? Yeah? Why are we doing this? I don't know, it's cool! Whoa. I, I'm sorry, I'm not listening to anything you guys are saying. I'm just obsessed with looking at this. Let's go on out, Rovi boy! Is this where the ship hit the iceberg? I don't know. I wish I could get like a macro view of it, like see the whole thing, not just in the lights that I have. It's also horrifying to think of what could be out in the ocean here next to me. This breach is from the impact with the ocean floor. Anything in here is going to be messy. Oh. I'll keep my eyes peeled. So this blew open when you it's hit the bottom? To the top of the breach. Look for the flashing beacon. I really oh, hope this briefcase geez. is there. Ah, you found a briefcase. I just need to pick it up by holding down one of the triggers to <laughs> I just need to pick it up by holding down. I think this is it. A video game. Well, that's lucky. Oh. I'm going back up. Wait, no. I want to see more of the Titanic. I mean, there's more of the game. But I wanted to see more down here, you know? I want to see more of the actual ship. God, you gotta have some big balls to come down this deep into the ocean. How far down is it? Does it say how far down I actually am in total? In regards to like real life? Probably somewhere, but I can't see it easily. I can't remember how far down the Titanic is. People were always surprised that I was able to remember the date that the Titanic sank as April 14th, 1912. But it's because April 14th is my sister's birthday and then 1912 is just easy to remember. It's a cool party trick. What's that? That chimney stack? Where Jimmy Stack was? Oh man, okay, autopilot. All right, I'll see you in about two hours. Two hours? I hope you brought a book with you, Jesus. Oh, hey, you want a controls tutorial? Um, no, I think I can figure this out. Can I go over there? How do I? <laughs> oh, I should have got a controls tutorial, dang it. Well, looks to be in good condition. Let's get the bone hair comb. I need to wash the salt out quickly before it crystallizes and the bone starts to crumble. Okay. How do I... Oh, I should have... I should have listened! Oh, brush, brush, brush. Oh, I feel like a paleontologist under... Like, discovering bones. Isn't this what you thought of when you were going to discover the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean? Um... Um... I might have... I might have ruined it! Um, help! Yeah, you know that leather briefcase that we got from the really, really old Titanic that was really fragile? I might have dropped it somewhere. Have you seen it? Oh, there it is! Never mind, I found it! <laughs> it just got, um... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, in you pop. Oh, Jesus Christ. In you go. These banknotes are delicate. Money! Need a good rinsing in the desalination bath. Oh, so you're gonna get desaled, bro. Before freeze drying. Nice. And then fungicide. I'm a natural at this. 
Alrighty. Oh god. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Can you go back in? Thank you. Whoa, what's in here? <gasps> ah! My bad, my bad. I'm very bad at this. Oh, I can't reach it! Special package. No! That's interesting. Serve the items. I can! It's broken! Can you help? Oh, damn it. Okay, screw all that. I want to know what it was like to be on the Titanic on April 1912. I want to be there. This is a seated experience. Get comfortable. I'm always comfortable. 1.10 a.m. Oh, God, that's got to be cold. Out in the middle of the Atlantic? Titanic's hull is breached by a collision with an iceberg and is rapidly taking on water. Oh, I don't get to see the iceberg. Captain Smith has ordered women and children to lifeboats. That's me. I'm a child. I can go on. Whoa. Women and children. This Whoa. Way. Women and children. Head for that ship Damn. on the horizon. Transfer your passengers and tell their captain to come at once. We require urgent. Surely they can see our rockets, sir. If they oh. can, they are not responding. As quickly as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Damn! Aye, aye. What ship on the horizon? I can't see any. The children. She's fierce cold out here, Vines. Quickly, the boats are leaving. Daddy, where are we going? Shh. We're going on a little adventure. <laughs> That's an Irish soon. accent. Over here. Let's try this one. I'm afraid it's women and children only, sir. Please, sir, can't you see my wife? The God, this is horrifying. Children. Sorry, sir. Captain's orders. What's the meaning of this? Is this a drill? Only a precaution, sir. Everyone will be back aboard in good time. John, I can't oh. manage without you. I need you. We'll just have to for now. It's not as big as I Don't thought. Worry, Marie. I'll get on another boat. You don't get me wrong, it's big, Daddy, but I, don't want to go without you. I expect it bigger. John, I don't see any men board in lifeboats. I'm sure there's other boats further down that men board. Right, David, help your mother and sister board. Yes, Dad. I'm sorry, sir. Women and children only. For God's sake, he's just a boy. What age is he? He's only 16. He'll have to stay on board with the other men. Jesus. Oh, something, John. Is there nothing you can do? My wife can't manage alone. I'm afraid not, sir. Captain's orders. Hey, the officers are letting the boys leave on the other side. You must hurry. Thanks, friend. That's insane! To be 16 and not be allowed beyond? Are we sinking? Are we going down right now? I can't feel it. No! No, Daddy! Oh my god! Just let me go with you! No! No, Daddy! Please! Daddy, please! We'll see you soon. We'll head straight for another boat. Women and children, final call! Right, it's time to go. No, no, Wait, are you not getting out of that boat with them as well? No! Ugh! Hayden! Oh! Am I a woman or a child? I told you I was a child! Thank you. My daughter was the same. Oh, we're going down! I thought you were getting taller! Favorite. Holy God! Do you believe there's any real danger? Oh no, dear. I saw men locking the watertight doors as I left my cabin. Ha! I'm sure we will be back on board soon. Idiots! The ship is going down hey. and it's going to break in half! Right, folks. We can't get up on the deck! Help. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, Lord. Do the steerage have their own boats? I don't know. There should be boats in the third class deck. Please don't jump on! Seen any. Surely there must be extra boats kept elsewhere. Stay there now! Otherwise, how can all the passengers leave the ship? How's your ankle, Helen? How's your arse, Helen? Swollen. It's okay. It's freezing out here, Helen. Your the swelling will go down in no time. Oh! Whoa! This is high up. Yes. Well, perhaps this type of adventure novel would best suit Colonel Bracy. Oh, I do hope. Oh wait, no. That's the reflection of the water. I think. Yes. Well, this is not yes. the ending to our No, it's not. Oh my God! The water's all the way down there. Father's face when we arrived. Steady forward. And lower away astern. Steady forward. Don't do that. It's very scary. Like I know everybody on the boat's gonna die, but. can't manage this boat with only one seaman. Ha! Oh my God! Are you gonna? Are you gonna rappel down? Oh my goodness. Oh my God! That's much scarier than the ship about to break in half. It's not really. It's not there, really. By the Orlock. Thank you. 
Ready! He's not a seaman at all! He's just lying! He wanted to get on the boat! He's not a Such child a like me! Cold tonight. Almost there, mother. How long must we sit in these boats? Till morning. Be glad you're in here and not up there. Till morning! Okay, the Titanic was way bigger than I thought. Never mind. Yes. This That's is massive. journey commanding a ship. Such a beautiful ship to retire with. Yeah, such a beautiful ship to die on, am I right? Help! Help! I'm oh my god. Scared. Shh, it'll be fine. Well, Can that's terrifying. I, I said. It's so crazy to think that the boat was sinking so slowly that you couldn't really see it in real time. I have it. You there, stand on that plug. Make sure it doesn't come out. Well, I never. Man the oars. Well, well I never. So Am I right, Mildred? This is cozy. What's everyone's favorite board game? Whoa. He's friendly. You got five. Would you like to hold him? A dog! Oh my so god, that's so cute! Look after him for me. While we're on oh! the Yes. That's sir. way cuter than your baby. I'm just saying. No, it was good of you to join us in the boat. We wouldn't have allowed you to stay on deck. I'm sure we will be God back on the boat shortly. God damn! Never mind that. It story. is crazy to think that on the other side of that boat, or maybe this side, no, other side, it hit on the right hand side. It's crazy to think that on the other side there's a giant gash, five compartments long, sinking the whole yes. thing. It's hard to see anything tonight. I doubt the other ship will even see us approach. Mom, can you hold this, please? Ah, much better. Thank Thank you. Like. Let's hope they see us. It now if like Moby Dick comes, we're all doomed. Oh, you can see it! It's like the lights over there are underwater, but down here they're not. You can see it like tilting a little bit. Are there any supplies in this boat? There's nothing. No water, no bread, no compass. Any blankets? Wow. Okay. It's way bigger than I thought. Never mind. It looked small when I was up there. Oh, officer. Officer, look! <laughs> sorry. So sorry. I, I can't swim. I, Coward! Go Coward! Start rowing. I can't. I broke my arm. That's why You I broke swim. your arm on your head! Please, sir. Please stay. I, I'm begging you. Put your legs in the water and start kicking! Sit down, Nick. You're lucky I haven't thrown you overboard. Whoa, well, yeah, you can really see that it's like... Thank you. ...raising at the back. Thank you, Amadon. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. That's wild. This is so cool. Thanks. That whole thing is going to break in half. So, where's everyone from? It's everyone's favorite music. Hello. No one's listening to me. Are we going to get to see this whole thing, like, go down? Oh, my God. It's tilting so much. Oh, I hope so. The ship is lifting quite badly now. Yeah. The lights don't seem to be getting closer. Perhaps they're just reflections underwater. No. They're definitely lights from another ship. We were signaling them earlier. They look like stars to me. Keep rowing towards the Yeah, light. what if the ship is just getting further away? You should assist us rowing. Allow one of the Oh my god, it's sinking so quick! Look at the lights go under the water right now. You row, sir. I will remain in command of this boat. Oh my god, that's so terrifying! No! Rowing will keep us warm and we'll reach that ship in half the time. I agree. For the people on board, they might not even be able to sense that it's going down that quick. This is, I think this is quicker than it actually happened, though. Look at the angle of our ship. But it's unsinkable. Surely? Oh my god. But the watertight door should keep her afloat. We only glance this Holy crap. Isn't that damage? She'll founder. I'm getting goosebumps. What about those not in lifeboats? I hope we get to see it break in half. I want to see what that looks like in VR. Oh my god. That's so sad. The boat is underwater now. Jesus. 
I can't describe how this actually looks in VR. It's so cool. I'm getting goosebumps all over. <laughs> it's so crazy to think that this actually happened in real life at some point. You tend to think of it just as the movie. Look how much of an angle it's at. And then it breaks in half, and then it really starts to go down. First chimney's going. Oh no, it's all starting to go out. Oh, the power's gone out. That's even more horrifying. Oh my God! fucking cam about it, don't you? Oh my god. Yeah, what's scary is that some people went down with it, but some people over there are just floating in the water now, freezing to death. Leonardo DiCaprio's over there somewhere! We must go back! That is so scary. Wow. Titanic had 2,208 people on board. One thousand four hundred and ninety-six people perished. That is so many. Lifeboat 6 was designed to hold 65 people. There were only 29 aboard when she left Titanic. Oh my god! It could have held so many more people! Lifeboat 6 approaching Carpathia. Wow. Oh my god! That was so much more emotional than I thought it was gonna be. That makes me so sad. Oh, I'm like legit tearing up. <laughs> wow, that's nuts. Like you hear about it a lot and uh, obviously, I mean, most of us have probably seen the Titanic movie. It's a terrific film, but there's so much in it that you're like, there's no way that happened. There's no way this ship broke in half. They just did that for Hollywood. And there's no way like XYZ was going on. It's just to make it look crazy. And I'm sure some of it is. But a lot of what they did in the movie, Jim Cameron actually studied and did for real. And then when they found the ship at the bottom of the ocean, they like reverse engineered everything that happened and the fact that it's in two bits and one part is so much further away than the other part. And there are some like really, really accurate simulations now online of what actually happened. I think I did videos on some sort of Titanic experience before where it like went down in real time or at least I've looked it up it's absolutely fascinating the series of events that happened with the ship because they said it was unsinkable it was built in Ireland and then brought to it wasn't it built in Ireland yeah it left Ireland I think Northern Ireland up in Belfast and then it was going to New York to on its maiden voyage like its first voyage and they said it was unsinkable because of the way it was designed with its compartments underneath and then it like the way the iceberg hit, it gashed a hole in the side and five compartments were breached. 
And if, apparently if like four, I, I could be totally wrong on all of this. I'm speaking from any of the knowledge that I had before and I'm trying to remember it from memory, but I think if it breached like three or four, it would have been fine, but the fact that it breached five meant it sank and they called it the unsinkable ship. And then on its first voyage, it crashed due to sheer negligence on the, the cruise part. It's just the fact that it went down, it broke in half, so many people died. It just feels like a fairy tale. It feels like something that couldn't have actually happened, but it did. And it's it's not that long ago. <sighs> so scary. Like when everything is sinking, that's terrifying. People getting on lifeboats knowing that it hit the iceberg. But for me, the scariest part is right when the ship disappears underwater, right when it goes away. And there's like such a vacuum of when it was going down, like air escaping and it pulling everything down that if you were above it, you would have been like sucked under with it. I don't know how much force it would have been and how far you would have been sucked down. But the fact that like as soon as a boat disappears and then it gets way calmer is so scary. Like all the lights are gone and you're just sitting there floating in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The ocean is terrifying. Oh man, that was really cool. I'm glad I did that. That was that was quite the experience. I If you have a VR headset, it's on the Oculus store if you want to go get it. Um, it is kind of pricey, it's like 15 pound, but I think there's more to it than I showed here. So it's up to you if you want to get it. But I, I think that that's really cool. I I First of all, I would love more experiences like that where I get to see like big events actually happen. Um, although it is kind of morbid, isn't it? I would love a whole game based on that submarine. I would love like a whole Soma. Man, I wish Soma was in VR. That would be such an amazing game in VR. If you haven't played Soma, please play Soma. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'm, I'm curious to see how much of this actually like translated into a video because I have no idea. It's always weird to translate stuff from VR into video anyway. But especially when it's more of just an experience, like sitting here looking around. Um, but being there in the headset and seeing it all happen and hearing the voices all around you was was quite surreal. Um, but yeah, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new here, if you haven't subscribed already. It's free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. And not do it. But thank you guys so much for watching.